Thank you very much. My name's Mary Ann Hasselgrave. I'm with the Commonwealth Medical Trust, and I've been following both uh, the high-level political forum and the process for the development of the 2030 Agenda and the IAEG and the Statistical Division, which leads me to ask the following questions, um, as you uh, suggested, Madam Chair. The first one um, is how are we going to address the necessary interface between the technical and the political? The political processes for the 2030 Agenda and the high-level political forum we know about. At the same time, we have running parallel the processes for the Global Indicator Framework and the IAEG and also the Statistical Commission. We need to bring them together. This meeting is unique insofar as we have people from both, uh, participants from both sides in the room at the same time. Um, and in this co connection, it's been referred to uh, that we, the, the issue of the ECOSOC draft resolution, which is extremely important. It's the last piece, if you like, of the 2030 agenda that has not been agreed. And it's been developed by the technicians, i.e. the statisticians, and it must now have the politicians make sure that it goes forward intact and that it's not taken apart in the, in the uh, deliberations in ECOSOC itself. The, there, are, there are other issues as well uh, around um, the timing. We're, we're very short on time. In 14, you know, I think less than 14 years, uh, the whole process is going to be over. And we have these two processes running parallel, but not necessarily synced together. And this is something that, that, that has to be addressed so that they do work in tandem both at the national level and at the global level, and of course also at the regional level, which is, is going to be critically important because you're, we're reporting at the same time as we're developing the mechanism for deciding on what we're reporting. So that is an issue. And it's been mentioned several times, the issue of the involvement of civil society organizations and academia. How Several of the uh, delegates here this, this afternoon have mentioned that we need to bring in other sources of data. But how do we do it? Most civil society organizations don't even know where the National Statistical Office ex resides in the government. So it requires work on both sides. And, and finally, a challenge. Um, this region was first and foremost in trying to get the concept of sexual and reproductive health and rights included in the first the SDGs and then in the 2030 agenda itself. Now, what we've been hearing in the IAEG is that countries should be developing their own national indicator frameworks. Now, if this is the case, why can't countries in this region go forward and actually measure the, impl the implementation of sexual and reproductive health and rights and go beyond what is said in 5.6? 5.6 provides a global baseline, if you like. In this region has got the biggest challenge where it could be extremely successful in moving forward this important issue that is not only important for health, but also for gender equality. Thank you.